Have you ever wondered why love is often described as a feeling that makes the world go round? This is a question that has puzzled many great minds for centuries. However, the answer remains simple yet profound. Love in its purest form is an emotion that transcends all barriers and boundaries, becoming a universal language that everyone speaks. We often hear that love is akin to the experience of relaxation. If you cannot love, you cannot relax, and if you can relax, your life will be filled with love. A person consumed by stress cannot love. Why? Because a stressed individual lives constantly with a purpose, a goal. They can earn wealth, but they cannot love because love is purposeless. Love is not a commodity. You cannot store it, you cannot deposit it in your bank account. You cannot use it to validate your ego. The truth is, love is the most meaningless act. It has no meaning beyond itself, no purpose beyond itself. Love lives for itself, not for anything else. The ancient sage Shiva begins with love. Beloved, enter into love at the moment of loving as if it is eternal life. What does this mean? Many things. One, when you are loved, the past ends and there is no future. You move into the dimension of the present, you enter the now. Have you ever loved someone? If you have, you know that in that moment, there is no mind. This is why the so-called intelligent say that lovers are blind, mindless and mad. In truth, they speak the truth. Lovers are blind in the sense that they do not have the eye that keeps account of the future. They are blind because they cannot see the past. What happens to lovers? They slip into the here and now. They do not worry about the past and the future. They do not worry about what will happen. For this reason, they are called blind. They are. For those who calculate, they are blind. And for those who do not calculate, they are sighted. Those who are not calculative will see that love is the real eye, the real vision. Therefore, the first thing is that in the moment of love, there is no past and no future. Then there is a subtle point to understand. When there is no past and no future, can you call this moment the present? The present is between two, the past and the future. It is relative. If there is no past and no future, what is the point of calling it the present? It is meaningless. That's why Shiva does not use the word present. He says eternal life. He means enter into the eternal, enter into the eternal life. So to summarize, Love is a timeless emotion that exists beyond the confines of past, present and future. It is purposeless, meaning it exists for its own sake and not for anything else. It is in this state of love that we can truly relax and live in the eternal moment. So the next time you find yourself in love, remember, it's not just an emotion, it's a state of being, an eternal life.